Spider fans, win four courtside seats to a home game, a spider prize package, and lunch for four with Coach Mooney at Outback Steakhouse, all from Farm Bureau Insurance. Register online now at spidercontest.com. Pushed off the block, down right of the free throw line, puts up a shot off balance and banks it. Top of the key, Shells, shake and bake, drive the lane, right hand lamp, left side good, Shells first two, and now nothing. Then gives to Goring, give and go to Shells, right side layup good, and Shells with four. Coro catch inside, turns and lays it in. Good, nice. Abby going one on one, backs to the baseline, then reverses inside and lays it up and in. What a great move from Abby Oliver. Quickly inbounds to Okoro in the paint. Jen turns and lays it up from the right side, a little short. Got it back, put it up again. It didn't go down. One more time and put it up and in this time. Oliver to the right wing, stops and pops a three. Bang! To coast, down the middle of the floor, top of the key. Left wing, Oliver. Another open look at a three and got it again. Works behind the perimeter, then drives the lane. Runs through the lane and Goring blocks the shot. The Shells takes it on the baseline. Elevates for a jumper. Right corner, good for three. Backdoor cut, Brittany Shells. Reverse layup. Spins in and down, and there it is. Great pass from Boring and a reverse layup by Shells, and it's 2,000 for the career. Number 2,000 on a backdoor cut and a reverse layup. Brittany Shells became only the second veteran women's basketball player to ever reach 2,000 points for her career. Currently the second all-time in the Spiders' career scoring list. Congratulations, Brittany Shells! And Brittany Shells did it in fine fashion. Shells quickly ahead to Goring into the front court for the Spiders. Crystal spins, puts one high off the glass, and lays it in with a right-handed hook shot. Shells who comes around, then Brittany drives baseline left. This is to Oliver at the free throw line. 16-foot jumpers all net from Abby Oliver. Then to Oliver off motion. Drives into the lane. Pull-up jumper from 14 is good. Holds the ball. One dribble. Bounces low to Goring. Left open on the right block. Laid it in. Got away from Mueller and Crystal Goro. Turnaround jump hook won't go down. Nice rebound. Nichols underneath. Went out then back in and spun a layup up with the right hand from the left side. Off the glass and good. Amber backing her way down the lane. Right corner kick to Johnson. And Leah Johnson deep in the right corner will dial long distance and knock down a three. Line and gives to Powell, top of the key, who drives the lane. Runner from the right side, put it up off the rim, and it's spun down. In top of the key, down to five on the clock. Goring spins in the lane, runs through the lane on the left side and spins it off the glass with a running layup. Final score, 68-57. A win for the Spiders today. 18-10, and 9-5 in the A-10. Uh, it's, it's hard to put in words, really. I mean, there's just so many emotions that are going through my mind right now, and it's hard to just really get it all together. I mean, you know, when I was standing at center court, uh, when they walked out, the seniors walked out, I mean, I teared up a little bit. Uh, just to see them the last time here in the Robin Center is tough. And then to, um, and then when we played and, and to see Brittany do what she normally does and to know that she scored 2,000 points and try to put that into perspective is, I mean, it's considering it's the only second time ever in the history of our program, I think that does put it in perspective. It's just an impossible task, and, and she did it. Uh, and she did it with a lot of help. I mean, a lot of people helped her through the, through it. And uh, what Crystal and Kara have meant to our program, and Rebecca having to, you know, uh, retire with an injury, and Crystal, uh, you know, battled, and, and Kara with knee injuries. I mean, I just got a lot of appreciation and respect and admiration for what our, our seniors have meant to this program. So it's, it's tough to put it all into words, but I, I can't be more proud of our team and them. Let's get some rest. <laughs> uh, we've been a little thin and we've been a little banged up. Um, we want to get a little rest and then take it one game at a time. You know, I think if we compete for 40 minutes, we can beat, uh, you know, a lot of teams. And I think if we don't compete, I think a lot of teams can beat us. And I, I think that as long as we understand our margin of error and come out and compete for the 40 minutes and rest when we're not playing in the tournament, uh, then we can advance. And that's that's the goal. Just win win the first game by one point, move on. I mean, it could. We gotta go to NCAA's. <laughs> Other than that, like I said, um, like I was talking to Kay, it, it's it's truly an honor. Um, you hear about a lot of people reaching um, a thousand points, and to reach two thousand points, not many people have done it. And and it's like I said, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for my coach, if it wasn't for my teammates, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't really have been possible. So I, it's truly an honor. Well, earlier, Crystal and I was talking. She was talking about giving me uh, nothing but assists, so she, so I can get it. And um, as soon as uh, she said back door or, or, or dribble at, I knew immediately we were on the same page. I knew she was going to pass it to me, and I knew I had to do some type of move. I did it, and I knew it was going to go in. So um, 
Yeah, thanks to Crystal. <laughs> it's like I said, it's truly an honor. I mean, coming to Richmond was is truly a blessing, and to be able to, I mean, make history is is just one of the greatest things. And like I said, if I can go to NCAA, that would just make it complete. So.